This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is a first look video. Warlock here has been given to me temporarily by the content creator program so that I could show you guys what he's like, give you my first impressions of him, and you can make a decision whether you want to acquire this champion or not. All right, so first we're gonna take a look at his synergies. Now, I actually like these first two synergies. Uh, Self-Friends, when you hit an opponent with a special attack, they're gonna get 70% less power. That can be very strategic if they are close to a special three, for example, and you want to fire off your special or you need to, depending on a node that you're dealing with, you can do it without needing to bait out their special. All right, and you still have to be careful, it's 70%, so they're still going to gain power. Uh, so you just have to be careful. And this next one is very interesting, Robot Uprising. So anytime a teammate would receive a debuff that they're immune to, they'll gain a Fury, which increases their attack rating by 60%. That is huge. Uh, to give you an idea, the Suicide Masteries Double Edge and Liquid Courage each give 30% when they are maxed out. So Full Suicides gives you 60% attack. Just to give you an idea of what that looks like. Now, we have to deal with diminishing returns, I'm pretty sure, but that's still huge. Um, you got Going Viral here, and whenever the opponent would gain one or more virus charges, uh, they have a 50% chance to gain an additional charge I'm not too impressed on that one. And then this final one, mutants gain 12% special attack damage. That can be nice. Um, not necessarily for Warlock, but nice. All right, so now let's take a look here at his abilities. And we're not going to go in depth. My closer look video when I actually acquire this champion myself will go more in depth. But his signature ability pretty much does more damage. It gives him more damage. Uh, it definitely is a nice to have, but he has a lot of utility. So I wanna talk just a little bit about these two areas right here. So he is quadruple immune. He's immune to bleed, poison, cold snap, and frostbite. He has more immunities than Iceman, okay? Now, he also gains a permanent armor up buff. This is huge, and it, it, it does increase his armor rating, but what I thought of immediately when I saw this was Havoc. I'm thinking this is a great Havoc counter, you know? And if that is removed for any reason, it will refresh after 10 seconds. That is awesome. Now, while that buff is active, the opponent's special attacks can't be criticals. That could save your life, all right? Now, every time he makes contact, okay, that doesn't matter whether he's attacking or getting attacked or blocking. Any contact, the opponent gains a charge of this virus and it can't be stopped by ability accuracy, you know, reduction. Once the opponent has 20 of these charges, they're removed and replaced with one infection, which is a passive. It lasts for 20 seconds, but that is increased depending on how many unique buffs are on the opponent. So the more unique buffs they have, the longer this is gonna last. So what does that do? Let's look here. The opponent is heal blocked. And if the salve mastery is active, the mastery is removed. 
the opponent has 30% reduction in offensive ability accuracy. And whenever the opponent would gain health while infected, they drain their power. Do you remember? Let's go up here. When an opponent's power is drained or burned, you put a degen on the opponent. Okay? So that is huge. It's more damage. Okay? And I'm going to just show you guys here. You know, um, when he does a parry, they gain three virus charges. Uh, if the hit was non-contact basic, then it drains them, which will again um, give them a degen if he is awakened. Okay, his heavy attacks inflict bleed damage. Very, very nice. And we're not going to go too much into these special attacks. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go into Realm of Legends. And we're going to go up against Wolverine and see just how well he does against Wolverine. You know, this techno virus, how good is his anti-healing abilities? All right. So let's go. All right. So there are two things that I wanted to showcase in this fight. I wanted to show you guys his anti-healing abilities and his power control abilities. He has both, and they're pretty decent, okay? Now, Wolverine, in case you are unaware, has a crazy regen, and if you go up against this Wolverine without a champion that can counter that regen, you're not going to get past it. He will heal all the way up to full. All right, so you see here... He's getting that techno virus on them. It's getting converted. And just watch and see how it's affecting his healing. When he has that regen buff up, just look at his health. Also, look at his power. You'll notice that his power goes back and forth. Now, after this special three, watch his power bar and see what it does. And remember his signature ability Look at that. Okay. Look at his power. It's just not going up, is it? When he gets power drained, he puts that degen on him. Okay. But as you can see, it's pretty effective. Now, because this is a first look, I fired off the special three. And then I wanted to show you guys the special one. And I'm going to work my way up to a special two. This is not necessarily the best way to play Warlock. I don't know what that is yet. This is just a first look. When I find out more and I actually have him in my account permanently, then I will make a closer look video and we will see maybe what the best rotation is for him. But so far, I like Warlock. His animations are the best in the game, in my opinion. And if you watched my stream where I first had to face him, I died with Medusa because I was too busy laughing just over his animations. All right, now here I saw that he was regening because I don't have anything on him that would prevent it. So that was my fault. Um, I didn't keep up uh, his debuffs. Now I'm also running max despair. So every debuff will reduce the healing. It won't stop it, but it'll reduce it. But his techno virus will. So it looks like the main goal when you need that utility of uh, you know heal blocking, you need to just keep being aggressive and making lots of contact. And that will stop his healing. All right. But you can see here, he's doing a fine job, you know, and I like him. I like him a lot. Uh, I think people are going to go for him. He has a lot of utility and his animations. Just look at that. They are awesome. I remember Warlock. Uh, when I first encountered him in the comics when I was young and I thought, oh, he is just so strange. But 
That's why I liked him. Shape shifting, tech, awesome. No, do not think of Transformers. This is Warlock. All right, but here we go. Uh, you can see how the uh, power control is working. So all throughout the video, just keep watching the power bar. And he's not, at least my initial impression is that he's not a huge damage dealer. He has a lot of utility though. So I can see myself using him. And as you saw in the uh, abilities, he's quadruple immune. That is awesome when you have that synergy. So you're going up against somebody. I was tempted to just get hit for the bleed so that I could get that fury. But I can see a lot of use for Warlock. I'm gonna probably go for him in the crystals myself. Uh, just maybe five tries at him, nothing crazy. Uh, but I like him. I like him a lot. All right guys, so that's gonna do it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below whether you like Warlock, do you like his animations? Do you agree with me that they're the best animations in the game? Are you planning on going for him as a five star in the arena or maybe in the featured uh, crystals? And if you are, why? Is it because of his animations or because you think he's just really good and very useful? Does he fill a role that you need filled in your roster? Let me know in the comments below. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. And you all have a blessed day.